Uh, up for analysis today, we got Candy Base, aka LP4K Base, by someone named Mary G Marin Gazari, who I do know um, went on to become one of the lead designers for the Mac first two Max Payne games. So that's something. Um, I really think, you know, aesthetically, this map kind of falls flat, but it makes up for it by being really, really good gameplay wise. Which, you know, it's kind of what I'm, like, care about most in, like, you know, a deathmatch game. Gazari here had also done some Quake maps beforehand, and apparently they made a map also called Candy Base for, for Quake, uh, way back in 96. Yeah. That's about all I know about that map. Sorry, I clicked out there. Um, I don't know if that one's really good or not, but considering that they got contracted to make this game, like, you know, work on this, and I think they actually made another map, which I think it's Candy 1? I, I don't know remember what it's called, but I'm pretty sure there's another uh, map they did in this game. Um, you know, they obviously so they did something right. Um, it's just, you know, a lot of weapon play, good weapon placement, a lot of things to grab. Works really good for a full 32 server. Yeah, see, I'm back here. Here's a teleporter I was talking about. Brings you to this area. Um, some of the spawn uh, points for this map have you fall into the water here or have you start in air. Um, I'm not usually too big a fan of that, but it tends to work really well here. Alright, this is actually another one of those maps that works um, both in opposing force as intended and if you really want to in Half-Life. Which again, I'm probably the only person that's ever attempted this because I'm a weirdo, but we're going to do it anyway. But yeah, that's the thing, this is probably, of all the official maps I've played so far, I think this one actually works the best with 32 players. Which is amusing, because it's actually, like, you know, kind of crowded, like, you know, cramped still. But there's actually enough going on here. It, what's going on with my... Hmm. That's no good. I don't know if that's... You know, something stupid I did, or if that's just the map being played, like, you know, forcefully here, causing that. I'm not too sure. Further investigation required. If these work. Yeah, I don't know why the claymars aren't working. I'm gonna check after. I'm gonna load up a Half Life save file or something in single player and see if it works there. Uh, I will say in the opposing force section of this video whether that's like, you know, I did something stupid or, you know, it's just the map being brought over here. 
No, that's so random. I've never seen that happen before, I, in all honesty. commentary is a little lackluster tonight too. I'm a little bit frazzled because, you know, I was about to record this, had it all set up basically, and then we had a power outage, and you know, that kind of put me back like a half an hour, and I'm like, you know, I got other things that I kind of want to attempt to do tonight, so you know, that kind of put me back. Uh, that's life sometimes, I suppose. That's also what happens when you have a freaking heat wave going on. It's like 35 right now in Edmonton, and that's absurd. It's Celsius. That's absurd for, like, you know, us. I know... You know, some places in the United States and, like, south, further down south, that's not too bad. But that's crazy for, like, what I'm used to, so... I guess too many people were running there for, like, you know, fans and stuff. Let me see if these work, too. Hold on. Yeah, every other explosive seems to be working just fine. I don't know what's up with the claymores then. Or satchel charge, but it's not satchel, it's C4. God damn, I'm stupid, I'm sorry. Moment of truth. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I guess that's just something to do with the map itself. All right, good stuff. I've actually tried to record the opposing force of, uh, portion of this video like three times now because something stupid keeps happening. So if I sound a little bit cross, uh, I apologize. Anyway, I'm going to get this done. Um, I'm not going to show it in the video, but yeah, the satchel charges work as expected in this map when you play it in the game here. So I guess they just did change the entity or something at like between like in development of the game. They changed that and like you know internally and I guess they didn't change anything else at any point. And uh, one more thing I'll mention for the third time is that if the game this map seemed really bright in the uh, half-life portion uh, but not like r rather dark here comparatively it's because I actually had my brightness set too high in the uh, Half-Life, when it, like, just Half-Life by itself. So, I apologize for that. This is what it's, it's like, you know, I wanted it to look like a little bit more. I don't know what the hell had me, like, held there, but oh well.
another one of the maps, like, um, something I brought up when I was doing the video on, uh, uh Mini is, like, you know, what, what, what was this built for? Like, you know, I know this is mostly an empty question or a rhetorical one just because I know that, like, you know, this map wasn't designed with, like, a purpose in mind in, like, the Half-Life universe, you know, trying to be a decent deathmatch map. And I get that, but I still would like to know, like, if you could, wh why did Black Mesa build this, like, base thing? The way it is, it's just weird when you think about it. I guess that's the case for a lot of, like, you know, ma like, multiplayer maps, though. And, you know, it's not important. Yes, I will kill myself every time doing this. It's just too easy. No one ever thinks that someone's just gonna, like, you know, suicide themselves. I imagine feel like, you know, that happened quite a bit on, like, really busy Quake servers and, like, you know, back in the day. You know, because, uh, you know, that's one thing. I'm just gonna bring it up real quick because I've been playing Quake 3. You know, the, the lightning gun in the game doesn't do that anymore. Like, I get it that, you know, there's not a lot of maps at all in, um, Quake 3 with the actual, like, water in it. At least, like, vanilla maps. But, like, come on, you can't think someone would like that to, like, remain. <laughs> That was an unfortunate shot, I just killed myself. I think that this guy just got eaten by the ceiling there because he just stuck floating. Or maybe he just really wanted to mate with the ceiling, I don't know. Not in my business. So yeah, that was uh, K-Base, really fun little map, even if aesthetically I think it's a little bit of a downer. Uh, don't don't bother playing it in regular Half-Life, even if it is good fun there, just play it in its natural habitat again. And yeah, hopefully I don't need to record this again. You know, I like the map, but you know, dang it.